Do you have any questions? Like I even know where to start. I can't even pronounce this stuff. The drugs are from Malaysia. They're not legal in the U.S. Is that safe? <laughs> what are they going to do, kill me? I thought it wouldn't hurt to throw one last Hail Mary pass. So this medicine, can it cure you? No, no, but it could maximize the time I have left. So I, I don't understand. Why is this blood disease a death sentence? I mean, people recover from blood no, disorders. No, not from this one. It, it affects both the red and white blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen. White blood cells fight off infection. So basically, I'm in a race against time to see which kills me first. An infection that I can't ward off or my body slowly suffocating. Look, I'm sorry. I, I know this isn't pretty. But do you understand now? Do you see why I need you to stay? So please, all I'm asking for is these last few months. I want to spend them with my son. Oh, I have to go. I have to go. Now? I have to tell Jake. No, no, wait a minute. I told you that was bad enough. I don't I, want everyone to know it. Jake is leaving me, David, and I have to tell him what is going on because this, it changes everything. Hey, Bailey. Hey, um, you're the guy from the adoption, right? That's right. Yeah. Little baby Stewie. You guys out for a little breath of fresh air? Yeah, I guess so. What about you? Where are you heading? I'm, uh, going to take the, uh, the train to the airport. And from there? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> so did you and Liza... Uh, work things out. She give me a little space. We're trying to do what's best for Stuart. That's good. Have you figured that out yet, what that is? I think so. I guess I'm just too scared to admit it. Mm. There's this guy. Oh, boy. There's always a guy. <laughs> it's Stuart's father, actually. Um, and I like him. A lot. Hmm. You just don't know if he's ready for all this. It's tough. Is it? Because I sit here and I look at this perfect little guy and it hits me. I love him so much sometimes that it scares me. There's nothing tough about that, you know? Yes, I do. So, um, what time's your train? Your train? Oh, I don't know about the train. Listen, I don't think I'm gonna uh, hang around for Annie's arraignment. I don't think I can stomach it. Okay, okay. Um, do you want to wait for me out here? Uh, no, actually, one of the guys that are in my group is holed up on the fourth floor. I'm just gonna see how he's doing. Okay. Catch up with you later? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I thought you went home. Yeah, Annie and I just did a few things to work out. That's all. But we're done, right? Oh, we are more than done. Oh, good, because uh, the judge is going to be here any minute. Great. I'll wait outside. What happened with Adam? Did he make bail? Yeah, he and Scott both did. Thank God. Judge Whitman's here. Okay, good. Um, just remember, let me do all the talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, here he is. Okay. Everyone present and accounted for? Uh, yeah. Yes, Your Honor, I do believe so. Let's jump right in. Uh, this is the case of the Commonwealth versus Annie Chandler. Mrs. Chandler, you've been charged with tampering with evidence, unsworn falsification to authorities, false reporting to law enforcement, hindering apprehension, criminal solicitation, consummation of a crime. How do you intend to plead to these charges? My client, I can speak for myself. Not guilty, Your Honor. 